Hey, thank you for joining me. I want to thank you for all the uh, fine uh, subscriptions and the viewing and the uh, great comments. Do you see uh, the blue x-ray, which is the median in front of you? This is the front of, the, of a horse. I hope you're looking at this on a 50 inch to 85 inch screen. These, uh, these images are really, really difficult to uh, try to describe. And let me just kind of get into some of this real quick for you, for you to kind of know what some of these images are. And of course there are a million other things, but there's an actual pointy head here of a clown, a guy with the Statue of Liberty turning sideways, running. It also has, if you really look at this, you can actually see a skull that runs through here. And there's an eye here, and then there's an eye here, and an eye here. And it turns. It gets really, really, really wild. Watch. And also there's uh, like big elephant ears with an elephant and a rise. And then part of his, his uh, this is turned sideways 90 degrees, the top of his hat with the fuzz, for those who know about the painting. The painting so happens to be this particular painting, which is the me Dion. If you see the, the side of the hat, that is the side of the hat here. So let me move this out of the way. We'll get back to that in a minute. But let me show you Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci, uh, da Vinci's um, he, tricks and hidden art. When we get into this, you're going to see that this is an x-ray. Okay, and it's going to be a, a, an eye, an eye, an eye, and there can be eyes in between the yellow, too. And if you actually look at the crown of the um, elephant, it actually runs and you think it goes up, but you can actually see an inline where it curves. You can also see the hat floating through in here. You can also see right in here the skull face. Okay, and then on top of that, the long slink of the horse. So watch. You overlay it and and what do you got? You got the skull. Here's the eyes around the eye. Here's the eye around the opening and the beginning to where it moves. And then he has the bigger eye. Then you have the big horse. And then you have the elephant that flows through here with the trunk going up following the black up in here. And then you see the, black, the, the, the tray in here. I have it offset just a little because the tray shows over here. But don't forget, Leonardo da Vinci's works move like this. So that means it's, it's everywhere, you see? And if I really move it way over here, it even lines up because he makes his works move across the room, okay? so. These are exact images. They have not been um, changed. If you actually look when it is in here, you'll see this V. And you'll see this V. This only makes like 8,300 items in which match just like this. And there's nothing that I have tried to manipulate in any particular way. This is, let me show you what it really is. This is the x-ray for those who have not and I take it and I turn it and I uh, counter oh, 190 and that is the x-ray of the Medeon which I told you which is this particular painting. The two. Okay and so that particular painting and this is the x-ray that's inside the Mona Lisa, which is this. So this painting, uh, x-ray painting, is of, again, the Mona Lisa. And the Mona Lisa is a younger child in her teens. And this is the Medeon painting. 
which is a diary of Leonardo da Vinci's works that of his entire career that I have found in here. I mean his entire career. You can show me anything of his works and give me some time but as you follow the YouTubes I haven't honestly not seen one item that's not in his painting. Uh, he uses it in one way or another and puts it like in the sense of cartoons um, or cartoons into portraits and po portraits back into cartoons until it finally builds. Now the images that that he makes again are smaller than pixels that turn into the Mona and each pixel can have easily well over 30,000 images to 3 million images. So I want to tell you again uh, thank you for the subscriptions uh, the viewing and the uh, fine comments. I want you guys to stay safe, stay indoors like uh, uh, recommended uh, and I want to uh, say my prayers for you and the world by saying God bless the whole world, the universe and the heavens and you have a beautiful, beautiful life and night. Thumbs up, please. Thank you.